Hello everyone, I'm Maricel Santos and together with Alexis Vélez and Ivana Magaria, we are members of the Institute for Research and Development in Process Engineering and Applied Chemistry of the National University of Córdoba, Argentina. The work we will present is entitled Effect of Molar Weight of Carboxylic Acids on the Enzymatic Esterification of Glycerol. Glycerol is a byproduct in biodiesel synthesis and it represents 10% of the mass. This industry is in a constant growth. In 2019, the biodiesel world production was 50 million cubic meters. So, a large amount of glycerol is produced per year causing a price reduction. Therefore, the quantities mentioned represents the opportunity to generate novelty processes to revalue this byproduct. One option is the esterification with different acids to produce glycerides of industrial relevance. The reaction can be biocatalyzed by lipases with the advantage of mild temperature conditions. Most enzymatic syntheses are performed in the presence of organic nonpolar solvents, although solvent resistance are feasible. The lipase source and the solvent influence were studied for some authors. In this work, Eight different carboxylic acids were used to evaluate the influence of molar weight and unsaturations in equilibrium conversion and initial reaction rate. A light by B from Candida Antarctica was used as a biocatalyst. This was observed on dry hydrophobic acrylic beads. The acids used were formic, acetic, libulinic, caprylic, capric, lauric, steric, Analyc. Reactions were carried out in an isothermal reactor at 65 degrees with a mechanical steel at 450 rpm. The initial molar relation between reagents was 1 to 1 and the enzymatic concentration was 1.6%. When solvent was used, the system was diluted to 50% with toluene. In time intervals, a sample was taken and the acid conversion was measured in the conventional acid titration. To calculate the initial rate, the conversion was plotted against time. Then, a non-linear regression was used to fit the curve and the derivative at time zero was determined. In a previous work, the same reactions were carried out at 100 degrees but without a catalyst. Then, it was confirmed that only formic and acetic acid were reacted at this temperature, and for the rest, conversion did not extend over 20%. So, under these conditions, acids from octanoid to a leg proved to be acted by the enzyme reaching equilibrium at a high conversion. The blank reactions were done for formic and acetic acid also at 65 degrees, Figure 2 shows that there was no enzymatic activity. Thus, the enzyme showed high activity in two phase systems with no polarity substrates, but the activity was low or negligible in polar systems and or in one phase systems. To test this hypothesis, the reactions with acetic and libulinic acids were carried out at intervene as a nonpolar solvent. Figure 3 shows that conversion increased 23% for libulinic and 14 for acetic. On the other hand, figure 4 compares initial reaction rate. Formic acid exhibited the highest initial rate, but in this case, the rate is the effect of its higher activity as a reagent and not as a substrate of the enzyme. For libulinic, the initial reaction rate with toluene was higher. Nevertheless, the rate was the second lowest. This is the only acid with a second functional group. This keto group might interact with the active site causing an inhibition. Regarding unsaturated acids, it was observed that the presence of a double bond reduces the initial reaction rate, probably due to steric hydrants. To sum up, Enzymatic esterification reactions without solvent were studied for acids from forming to a lake. The enzymatic catalysis did not work in single phase systems and high polarity. 
However, when a no polar solvent was added, the conversion and reaction rate increased. On the other hand, the less polar acids, which initially formed by fast existence with glycerol, showed acceptable conversions and similar reaction rates. These results indicate the need of a non-polar media and or a biphasic character to reach high conversions of carboxylic acids at the reaction conditions studied in this work. Finally, these are the references of the work. I hope you enjoyed the event. Thank you for listening.